हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय वीडियो लेक्चर टुडे आई विल प्रोवाइड यू अ बैकग्राउंड एंड ओवरव्यू ऑफ एंजाइम प्यूरिफिकेशन एंजाइम प्यूरिफिकेशन सिंपली डिस्क्राइब्स a variety of methods available to isolate a specific type of protein or enzyme from a cell extract which is a mixture of proteins the goal of this is to isolate the target protein without deactivating it deactivating a protein means that it is no longer functional sometimes this can be revived but other times it cannot we will go into greater detail of each of these techniques but below is a handy overview of what each technique accomplishes ultimately as a protein uh, becomes more pure its activity should increase it is important to note that many times these techniques will be used in combination by starting with one method and then using other until the protein can be as pure as possible let's talk about the techniques used for enzyme purification first method is centrifuge here separation takes place on the basis of density second method is salting out here separation takes place on the basis of solubility third is dialysis here separation takes place on the basis of size and fourth method is column chromatography This method is divided into three different types of techniques. First is gel filtration. Also called size exclusion method.
here separation takes place on the basis of size. Second method is ion exchange chromatography. Here separation takes place on the basis of charge. Third is affinity chromatography. Here separation takes place on the basis of affinity between sample and ligand. So these are the methods used for enzyme purification. Let's talk about centrifugation which is the first method for enzyme purification. As we learned in our overview of protein purification methods, centrifugation is the separation of proteins by density from a cell extract. When designing a purification scheme, this is generally the first technique that is used. The process of centrifuging simply relies on spinning a tube at very high speed and will ultimately pull the higher density proteins to form a pellet in the bottom of the tube. You can see the diagram. By altering runtime and speed, different fractions can be collected, which will each hold a different protein makeup. We can extract protein from the uh, bottom of the test tube, or you, this uh, uh, this is called as pellet. So this is all about the protein purification methods. In next uh, video, I will tell you methods in detail. Thank you.